What's up guys, I'm gonna build some Nissan GTR headlights with these parts right here. As I promised, these are straight from Korea. I'm making them available to you on the website so that you can take parts like this and turn them into a part like that and build lights like these. What's up guys, my name is Chris and this is my company Flyride and I'm teaching you all about custom lighting, the parts, the techniques, all the things that I've done over the years and I'm just gonna pack it all into this video. So we're gonna link up a couple other things that I've put out before and try to get you guys some new knowledge that you probably haven't seen anywhere else. Now having the ability to change color as well as to switch between two different show modes like this is really cool and you can also use a switch like a little remote control instead of a Bluetooth device like your phone, iPad or any kind of tablet. This is all universal products. It's stuff that you can do on your own car. Hang all the way into the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely hit that like button if this gives you any value whatsoever and please ask any questions that you have. You can do it. Here's how to do it. Here's how I did it. This is actually the same piece that I made in that video a while back with the red side markers. So I'm gonna take all of these GTR parts off of that bezel and show you what's underneath. So this is the downside with doing these GTR headlights. So you've got this really cool bolt, right? To keep it in place, it's got all these little tabs. So you've got Two tabs right there, got a tab right here, another one right there, and then one more right along here. Now, back in the day when I was making a lot of these things and I was doing all these individual wires, the problem was that if there was ever an issue with any of these LEDs, all of this stuff has to come back off and you have to melt it back into place when it goes back on. So if you've taken it off and melt it back and taken it off and melted it back, you start losing stuff to work with just not a good thing. Right, it's a brake flasher. They look really good, dude. I'm psyched. All right. Awesome. Sounds good, dude. I love them. Cool, brother. Glad you're happy. Hi, right, pal. They are so hard to modify. This guy has broken his lights twice now. One time, the Liberty Walk kit, because it doesn't have the wheel liners, just completely destroyed all of these wires right here so that had to be patched now we mount these things inside the headlights instead of dangling them outside so he won't have that issue but it sucks because this is old tech you can see all the individual little spacing this is the way i was building these things years ago and unfortunately he doesn't want to wait for the cool new part until the new ones come in this is the only type of sequential headlights i can do for the gtr all right, new day. I am continuing on the second side. The first side's already done. You saw that at the beginning of the video. Now I need to do the same thing with this. And what I'm gonna do is the color changing lightning bolt. This is the color changing demon eye module and it actually has two outputs. When I hook this thing up to the lightning bolt, it's gonna change its colors. run the wires inside that power up the ghost modules. I'm gonna mount it and I know the exact length and where it needs to be mounted inside the headlight so that everything clears and there's not too much stuff packed into it. The first thing I wanna do is take out anything that I don't need. This driver is what powers the stock lightning bolt. It's clearly not being used because we've replaced those LEDs 
with the color changing ones. So this stuff is worth hanging on to because it can save somebody's butt later if they made a mistake and screwed something up inside their lights. I did a job the other day replacing some burnout LEDs on a set of stock headlights for $700. So originally this had a ghost module that was dangling out the back, way back down and around. And the tires on a GTR come right back to like right there. Kind of sketchy to have all those wires there. So what we do now is all of the wires are gonna run straight through this OEM wire grommet at the bottom. That means this thing's gonna have to be mounted inside the headlight itself. Decide where it's gonna go. Most cases, it's gonna be a headlight that has dust caps. So all you have to do is take the back little cap off. You can access the thing, you can plug into it, reprogram it, do whatever you want. But in this case, in the GTR, I want it to be mounted right around here. The wires coming from this little grommet are gonna perfectly reach this without having too much excess. So everything kinda has to line up just perfect for the GTR build. To get this ghost module ready, I need to both extend the power to the LEDs, I need the ground input, the power input, turn signal, show mode one and show mode two. I cut six wires, basically hardwire everything up so that this guy is in place and ready. I totally forgot, before I soldered this thing in, what I was supposed to do, I gotta go steal Kristen's computer and she leaves at three, so, wow. You have no idea how good it feels to see everything's like cute and orderly. This is, this is not how I do things. This is how Kristen does things. And she is the one that's keeping track of your order and your tracking number and all that good stuff. So, yes, because I suck at that stuff. Anyway, this is why I am here. I am going to plug this guy into this guy right now. Plugged it in. It seems like it's good because that's what it tells me. I believe it. Let's go check. All right, so here's what happened. I didn't realize that I had an older style of this ghost sequencer. So this is actually a version four, a V4. So I was trying to put on my V5 programming to the V4, didn't work. I had this other one, so I'm just gonna make these connections hooked up really quick like I already did to those ones. Let me hook this thing up and uh, we'll test it real quick. It's a good and a bad thing when you have so many of these different modules around. Rather than me just using the original V4s that it had in it, I'm just gonna upgrade them to the V5s using another set. Spare parts coming together, make an old project better than it ever was. I'm good with it. big deal these things you can never ever touch them so people don't realize but if anything in here ever smudges this chrome you can't wipe it to clean it so I keep them in little plastic containers make sure that they're safe and then just before I install them I'll actually blast it off with air so that I know that there's no little dust or anything on there barely any space to get that little module back in the corner as well as I have to run those RGB wires straight down and out the hole in the bottom. Okay, that part sucks every single time, but I'm good now. I've got all the wires running out the bottom, so this one now has to run through the cut that I made in this grommet earlier. 
and then everything will be pretty much ready to hook up to a controller and call it a day. So that is looking really good, doing everything that we want it to. And last thing to do is to connect the RGB wires for the color changing bulb. 